First, the tragic new details after another person dies from injuries in that major warehouse fire in Orange County this past Thursday. And all new tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the company that works out of that warehouse. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anken. Thanks for staying up late with us tonight. 24-year-old Landon Borland, along with David Gonzalez and Lindsey Phillips, were killed on Thursday night. The fire broke out on Central Florida Parkway. Fireworks inside that building exploded feeding the flames and tonight new sixes bride did like is talking to the family of one of the victims still in the hospital fighting for her life a uh, family members of lindsay talifa say that her condition is serious but they have had positive updates it's hard to know that something she really loved is something that hurt her. Danielle Telefus tells me her sister-in-law, Lindsay Telefus, is currently fighting for her life. This coming after a large fire at the Magic in the Sky Fireworks Warehouse. Thursday night in Orange County, the fire causing fireworks to explode. Telefus says it was Lindsay's boyfriend who was with her at the time of the fire who warned the family that something was wrong. In the four years they've been dating, I've never gotten a direct phone call from him, so it was obviously uh, important that I answer that phone call. Atelifa says after she talked to Jordan, that's when she and her husband dashed to Orlando Regional Medical Center. Jordan was not hurt, but Lindsay. She had burns to 62.5% of her body. Um, when you see her in the hospital bed, you know, she's covered neck down and she has a dressing over her face. Firefighters were able to rescue other employees. Five people were hospitalized. Three of them have since died. Orange County Sheriff's Office identifying the victims as 22-year-old David Gonzalez, 23-year-old Lindsay Phillips, and as of Saturday, 24-year-old Landon Berlin. Telefa says right now she needs people to understand the gravity of the situation. You see a headline that says five people injured. That really doesn't tell you the scope. You know, Lindsay is fighting for her life right now. I think we're all just anxiously awaiting the fire marshal's report. Um, we want to know what happened. Now, the cause of the fire is still under investigation at this time. The deaths are not being ruled as a homicide. A GoFundMe has been set up to help Lindsay Talifus and her family. We have a link to that inside our website and mobile app. But for now, we are in Orlando. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6. We are praying for Lindsay's recovery, Brian. Thank you. Two days now after the fire, we're now hearing from the owners of Magic in the Sky. A spokesperson for the business says the incident started at 7.06 Thursday evening. In total, eight employees were on site. Three were in the parking lot and five were inside the warehouse when suddenly, they say, a fire started. The company says, quote, Safety is and always has been our company's number one priority. The statement to News 6 also said the company's personnel are trained on a regular basis and they are cooperating with investigators and will conduct their own review of the incident and make their findings available to the public, end of quote. As we continue to get more details on how this fire may have started, we'll post updates for you on ClickOrlando.com and the News 6 app.